What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Crestoria video. I am a few days late with this, but we are going to be hopping into the new event. Uh, that is the event that came with the Alicia and Raven banner, which is a Tales of Rebirth event, uh, technically. Where uh, we did get to run into uh, Hilda and Annie. Also, I want to mention, I did finally complete... This uh, extreme difficulty quest. Not obviously everything, but I did clear all five stages. So if anyone wants to see before it goes away, it's got like 20 days left. Um, let me know in the comments below. Leave a comment if you still need help completing this. Because I have a friend on Twitter who made a method. It's kind of like a cheesing method on how to beat it. But uh, I would definitely make a video on it if enough people wanted that. But I'm assuming most people who cared enough about it have probably beaten it by now. And just to answer what I used my uh, my free dupe basically on is I put it into my EX Leon. Because EX units are going to be much harder to summon for. So I figured it's much more useful to put it into him. But uh, enough about that. We also have this uh, if you need more ascension board materials which I'll probably be farming myself. Uh, that is also up as well for the duration of the weekend. But uh, let's hop in here. So this is definitely... So I mentioned last event how I felt like it was an event that just got pushed back a little bit. Because some of the newer stuff, you know, like double currency um, for one. As well as um, the SR tickets not being in the event shop was also a strange thing to me because they had started doing that and then um you know last event we had the halloween one didn't have these sr tickets in there but now it does so i'm guessing the halloween event was probably made a ways back whereas this event for example and the one before this before the halloween event was um or i, I say halloween event but it was really just a uh Mogilu event uh was probably made a long time ago so, uh, it is nice to see the SR tickets in there, as well as double, uh, materials for all this stuff. And this is obviously for wind units, so if you have wind units to work on, this is definitely the event for you. And then down here, you can see what I've already exchanged for. Some of this, uh, elixirs, the princessias, the gleamstones, as well as all of the memorias, which the Annie one is wind, and the Hilda one is light, which will actually go over... Real quick, before we hop into the event itself, let's go ahead and check out what they do. So let's just quickly hop over to the Codex. Let's go to Memoria Stones. Um, let's go ahead and filter. Uh, what's the Hilda one? Was it Earth? No, 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 Light. I I'm dumb. I we were literally just looking at it. So the Hilda one is Light. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this does right here. So... When it's maxed out, it gives 6,000 HP, 700 attack, and 1250 defense. Definitely meant for a more tanky unit. And the Memoria skill is plus 75% to resist curse. So uh, not bad there. If you need a decently leveled light Memoria for kind of a tanky unit, uh, that might be something you want to use. And then for the SSR Memoria, uh, which is Wind. Uh, oops. Um, uh, where are you? You're right down here. So maxed out, that's 17,500 HP, which is insane. That's really good for a Memoria. I don't know if... I don't want to say it's the... We can actually look in a second, but it's definitely one of the higher ones. Uh, 600 attack, which is very, very weak, and 950 defense, which is also very weak. So you're really wanting to just throw this on... I would say you want to throw this on a unit that you already have a decent amount of attack and defense on... And then you're just looking to kind of work on their HP. Because there are some units who have horrible HP that you might just want to throw that on. But let me actually... I want to see if that's the highest HP. I'm going to assume Mew probably has the highest. Okay, no, I'm wrong. Um, okay, yeah. So the highest uh, HP Memoria is Estelle at 25,000. But Annie is up there. She is the top, what, in the top 10? 
Um, so that's actually really good. I thought Mew had a... Uh, didn't Mew have a really high HP? Or w I think it's just Mew as a unit has a ton of HP. I don't think it's... Where are you? I could have sworn Mew was like a huge kind of HP unit. I guess not for the Memoria. I guess for the Memoria it's only 7,000. I guess Mew as a unit just... Uh... Let's actually look. Yeah, Mew as a unit has 40,000 HP when fully maxed out. Um, so, that's... I guess that's why his Memoria doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Alright, enough about that. Let's go over to the event and let's, uh, let's dive in. I'll just go ahead and show off. Which, uh, this was a pretty interesting event. It, the, to give a quick synopsis for people who don't read the events. Because uh, there are some people who do that. Um, basically, Kanata and company went into a town, and Kanata wanted to get a gift for Mizella because he had seen how uh, Yuna's uh, perfume was, and that, you know, Mizella kind of took an interest in it. So Kanata wanted to buy her some perfume as a gift. But uh, the town that they went to, um, the shipment of perfume hadn't arrived, so. Uh, you run into Annie and Hilda, who are travelers together, so they haven't met Vague yet, presumably, uh, or any of the other Rebirth cast. But uh, Annie and Hilda are basically traveling together to, um, uh, I don't know why they're traveling together, I just know they came to this town looking for more perfume. And the, the whole kind of arc of this story is Annie doesn't like how she feels, even though she is still technically a kid. She doesn't like feeling like a kid, so she wants to try and rush and mature and grow faster. But uh, the moral of the story was you can't rush these kinds of things, and she needs she needed to learn to be happy with who she was, and whenever she grows up, uh, it'll happen. So that's pretty much what happened there with the event. And then, of course, because the main memoria is wind, uh, wind is going to be your friend for these events, so let's go ahead and scroll over to my wind team, which I am still working on. Um, I don't really have a second max duped unit for wind to kind of help me here. Um, if we really just go to, uh, let's go here real quick. Um, Dezel right here, he gives, uh, 23% max HP to arts type allies, which... We really don't have that on the team. Um, what, what do we have? We have... What is... What is Alicia's even supposed to be? It almost looks like a... Obviously, she uses a spear, but it doesn't look like a spear. Anyways, uh, it obviously is, but it, it just... The icon doesn't look like it. So we've got spear, we've got sword. Or we've got... What? Like, long sword, short sword. Uh, we've got bow and arrow, and then we've got melee. So, uh, Zavid is not going to be held. I might have called him Dezel. If I called him Dezel, I didn't mean to. Zavid, they're both wind. Who cares? Um, and then Eleanor is also another one that doesn't really do... She does it for spear-type allies, which obviously that helps Alicia specifically, but I'm not using Alicia on this team. She's not a wind unit. So, not using Eleanor for this specific team is not going to be helping me. So, QQ is the only person who actually gives something here. So, all allies get 10% attack increase at 20 hits. And then, 10% uh, attack to spear allies at 20 hits. So, I really just have her there for kind of that first one. Um, but none of my max duped out wind units, uh, for SRs anyway, are ones that actually give a buff here. Let's actually see, would any of these be useful here? Uh, arts type allies, okay. What about you, Kyle? Um, okay, so he would be good for wind, because his first skill is just for all allies, HP, and then the second one is over limit gauge wind allies. Okay, so Kyle would be good if I can get those last two dupes. Norma is just all allies, so you can use her, use it on anybody's team. Uh, and then Jade, 5% chance wind allies cooldown of arts reset after use, so he would be good as well, but I've only pulled two dupes. And then uh, Yuna as well is good for wind. It looks like attack. Uh, so that would be good there. So yeah, for right now, not really worrying about my back row too much. But um, I do have Alicia there just for kind of the drop bonus uh, for everything. So let's go ahead. Let's hop in. Uh, I should be able to get my final two uh, 
because I only have four wind SSRs, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we only have four wind SSRs. So, uh, but I haven't really grabbed anything, so I should be able to get Saray and Earheart to 100 by the end of this, and then I'll just be stockpiling wind materials until I get my next wind SSR, whenever that's going to be. And as you can see down here, I am still working on my Andy Memoria. I still need one more copy from the points rewards. Or I think, no, I think there's two more. I think I have it at 80. Excuse me. So, uh, I think I can still use two more. But let's hop in. Uh, we'll take a look at the boss, see what he does, even though most of this stuff is pretty much the same. Um, at this point, you should be used to how these events kind of work. And, uh, it doesn't really matter all too much. It really is unfortunate they made Raven kind of a defensive unit. Even though it's good for me personally, for my wind units, it's still weird that a unit that's a bow and arrow type uh, uh, character is really just uh, defensive. So uh, he's definitely not going to be putting all that damage output, which honestly I probably should be putting him at the beginning of my team. Um... We don't need to heal yet. We'll go ahead and we'll save all these uh, Mystic Arts. Um... It's so weird seeing him do Blast Heart without the actual cut-in from Vesperia. Like, seeing his actual face, like, facial expressions looks so weird. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, we didn't actually get Velvet's, uh... There we go. 32,000 right there is pretty good. But as you can see, he really doesn't hit me for all that much. I haven't even had to use my heal yet. So I really could just solo this on my own. Uh, for the most part. You know, whenever I attack like that, what is this a heal for? 25%? We can go ahead and use that on Velvet when it's necessary, and then... Boom. I want to get Velvet her Mystic Art if we can. Yeah, I think this is one of the... Unless it's just my team being strong, this is definitely feeling like one of the weaker bosses. Um, okay, let's start off with Blast Heart. I su well, actually... How many attacks we have left? So we've got these two. That should be enough to break and also get some damage done. Fifty thousand for Raven, that's pretty good. Eighty-six thousand for Velvet, that's beautiful. Alright, and that should pretty much showcase how I uh would do this if I was going to, you know, slowly take my time soloing it like that. But um it's like I mentioned before, you know, requesting for help doesn't change it. You might get one or two less, like, sets of rewards, but it's really not going to matter all that much in terms of how much time you save. Because uh, doing this on your own definitely is a lot more time consuming. I'd rather complete this every, you know, 
four to five minutes rather than every 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, it's really not too bad in the long run. Well, this is all going to also depend if uh, we can actually get some people to join this. I think having uh, Saray at 100 will definitely help out too because he'll be able to put out a little bit more damage. And I think for how little damage we take here, I think having uh, Earhart's 25% heal every three or four turns is uh, plenty. Wow, I'm really surprised. It looks like we're really just not going to get uh, any help for this. Just to take care of that, uh... I mean, I guess I may as well do it myself. I mean, if no one's gonna join, it'll be faster this way. I was really just gonna leave it to go because, uh... <laughs> I thought we'd actually get some people in here, but, uh... Sometimes you just get unlucky and your, your set doesn't get recommended to anybody. It, uh, it is what it is sometimes, you know? Aw, oh, Velvet was, like, right there, but that's fine. Because we can just do a normal attack with her right here. Um... Nice getting a little bit of crit damage there. Velvet's already done her regular attacks. Let's do this. And then that. Oh, it went out of order. I must have clicked it wrong. Definitely next heal, we're going to give that to Velvet. This should be enough to take it out, I assume. Yeah, there we go. Not much of a break damage here, but at least we get something done. Still got another two and a half minutes before the next request we can do. Ray's done in here. It's not too bad there. Okay, now we got people finally joining. So this is going to go through pretty quick now. Heal, attack, attack, attack. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with my win team right now. I think these four are a good group. Obviously, if this boss hit harder, I would definitely need more of a heal. But I think right now, it's uh, it's pretty solid. Definitely would like to have a full wind healer, kind of like the light Estelle at some point.
you know, if we could have like a Mystic Art team heal and then like a single heal for an ability for a wind unit uh, at some point, I think that'd be pretty good. I think we can turn auto on now because it's, it's going to die anyway. Finish it off with Raven real quick. Alright, so that was about 10 minutes. A lot longer than I wanted that to go because uh, we pretty much had everything figured out pretty early on. But uh, those rewards are pretty good. And uh, that's pretty much it for the event. Uh, you know, I have a lot of farming to do, which... With Tales of the Rays just dropping that Slayers collab and with a whole bunch of other stuff going on, I've actually been pretty uh, lazy with this event so far. But I'll definitely make sure I have everything done before it goes away here in like 12 days. So let me know what you guys think of the event as a whole. Let me know how your guys' win team is for this event. And uh, hopefully people got lucky. If you summoned for Raven or Alicia, let me know how you did. Obviously... Those who saw, I got pretty lucky this time around, which means the next banner I probably won't be so lucky. But uh, we'll just have to see what's uh, coming out. I guess Wind is still probably the color I'm looking to summon for a bit more. Um, because I think every other color I have at least five units. I'm definitely not touching Dark for a while. I think we're good on Dark. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.